Hi, I'm Marty Nemco, and uh, this is a short, short story with, uh, about a dilemma. Uh, it's called a wallet. I don't mind my job. Actually, I kind of like it. Now, after all, the airport is virtually empty late at night, and my job's easy. Clean the restaurants, kitchens, and the bathrooms. Okay, the bathrooms. You know, sure, when I started, I almost puked when I had to clean up after men with bad aim. You know what I mean? Not to mention when I had to remove the rat carcasses. You know, I do that still almost all the time, probably once a week. Those $2 traps, they work. <laughs> if only those rich passengers knew that behind those foo-foo restaurants, rodents eat for free. <laughs> and you get to see all sorts of stuff that rushing passengers leave behind in the bathroom. And airports, John's gets thousands of people sitting on the pot. And when they're done, they're racing to get out of there. They slam on their pants. And sometimes stuff falls out of their pocket. Yeah, usually it's just change. But tonight, there was a wallet. And it had 900 smackers in it. First, I wondered, maybe some TV show with a hidden camera, you know, trying to see how honest people are. Then I thought, nah, they wouldn't have no TV host hanging out at an airport at 1 a.m. My next thought was, hey, great. No one could prove it was their money. I could use 900 extra bucks. Yeah, but then I realized the owner could call the airport and hoping the honest person would turn it in. And then sleaze old me would disappoint him. Well, I said, okay, let me look inside the wallet. Maybe it's tycoons. Hmm. Tom Michaels, consultant in employee productivity tracking. Is he one of those guys who sets up software that counts the workers' keystrokes and has people like me wear Fitbits that are connected to the corporate computer to be sure I'm not goofing off? And I thought about it as I was pushing my cart down to my next stop. Bistro Alegria. Hmm. I caught two rats in there. When I was almost there, I saw a fellow cleaner, you know, bathroom cleaner, and on impulse, like, I decided to offer it a cash and then bring the wallet with the credit cards to the lost and found. That way I'd feel less guilty. I told her where I got money, and she turned it down. It's not your money to give. I said, yeah, but we're cleaning toilets for 17 bucks an hour, and I'll bet he makes 10 times that selling that electronic leash to make sure we're earning our 17 an hour. Screw him. Keeping the money is just playing a little Robin Hood. She actually softened a little. She said, well, maybe if we used it for a good cause, like donating to some urban school for after-school tutoring. I reminded her that our tax dollars and rich people's donations to charity pay for all that. So then she tried, well, how about dividing it among all the bathroom cleaners? I said, ah, eh, they'd want to know where the money came from, so we'd have to lie or we'd get in trouble. She said, give it back. My final shot was, how about we keep 30 bucks of it as a finder's fee? And I use it to take you out for breakfast after our shift. She hesitated and then said, okay. <laughs> the takeaway, if you found the $900, what would you do with it? Would it matter whether it came from a company, a rich individual, a middle-class person, or a low-income one? Thanks for watching. I'm Marty Nemco.